I use various cameras for making my films, but my main camera at the moment is a Panasonic Lumix FZ1000. It's a pretty good stills camera, but I use it mainly for video work. It captures in full HD and 4K. Plus I downloaded the upgrade and so it now has 4K photo and also shoots 4K at 24 frames per second cinema mode. It is a fantastic camera but this year I was thinking of upgrading to the new Lumix FZ2000 which has a few extra features on it but not necessarily the ones that I'd find much use for. Then I noticed that Panasonic had replaced the FZ72 with the new FZ82 with a massive 60 times optical zoom lens. But unlike the FZ72, the FZ82 shoots in 4K. So I thought it'd be a much better addition to my uh, range of cameras as now I can shoot uh, wildlife films in 4K and have that long reach of a 60 times optical zoom and also 120 times intelligent zoom but whether that's usable in filmmaking uh, I don't know I have to test that out so far I haven't shot any wildlife films in 4k I use the Lumix FZ1000 as the main camera and then when I want to go in a little bit closer I use this uh, Panasonic V510 which shoots in 1080p and has a 58 times optical zoom and an 80 times intelligent zoom and get really good results with that but obviously it doesn't shoot in 4k another attraction of the FZ82 was that it was a around about a third of the price of the FZ2000 I know there's not going to be any comparison between the two cameras but uh, I went out and got one as you can see and uh, I'm going to test it out in this film it kind of looks like the baby brother of the FZ1000 and a lot of the layout is very similar and a lot of the features are very similar to uh, 4k photo and photo burst but you also get uh, photo stack and post focus on it which means you can take a photograph and then adjust the focus afterwards but like the FZ1000 I'm mostly going to be using it for uh, film work and hopefully it's going to be a decent 4k partner to the uh, FZ1000 and allow me to get really close up wildlife shots. I do shoot some stills with the FZ1000, it's pretty good but uh, for stills work I use a Nikon D300S. Just a few niggles about the FZ82, it's a nice little camera but it doesn't have an earphone socket or an external microphone socket which is a bit bad really. but. Uh, and it does pick up quite a bit of uh, camera sound but then the uh, FZ1000 uh, has the same problem but uh, you are able to fit a, a different external microphone on it but if you're serious about making films and you want a pristine soundtrack then you either use the mic off camera or a separate digital uh, recorder so it doesn't really matter too much and there's manual overrides on the camera too but unlike the FZ1000 manual focus is via the touch screen at the back there's no uh, focus ring on the lens barrel so it is kind of a little bit fiddly and as I say it is a touch screen but it uh, it is fixed it doesn't swivel out like the uh, screen on the FZ1000 but uh, that isn't touch screen but the proof of the pudding is in the eating as they say so I'm just going to take it out into the garden put it on a tripod and just give uh, the lens a test and also take a few stills and some slow motion just to demonstrate uh, the quality ok this is filming in 1080p HD with the 60x optical zoom the ratios tend to change a little bit depending on what mode uh, the camera is in. You can see the 1080p zoom ratio at the bottom of the screen there. But this is with the 120 times intelligent zoom. If you look closely on a big screen it's a bit grainy, a bit misty but at normal viewing distance not too bad at all. In certain circumstances certainly it could be used. And this is shooting in 4k. Uh, when you're shooting in 4k it's a different zoom ratio again. You have a longer zoom start at 28mm optical and finish at a very nice 1680mm and with the intelligent zoom you can increase that to a massive 
3360mm zoom which once again is a little bit grainy and misty on close inspection but in certain circumstances if you wanted that long reach it could be used. Another thing I like about the camera you get a nice round professional looking lens bokeh too and of course all these zoom ratios are 35mm equivalent. The camera also shoots uh, slow motion in HD but 720p that looks uh, pretty good this is uh, at 100 frames per second it also shoots at 200 frames per second but uh, only in VGA quality As I mentioned before, I bought the camera because I wanted to start filming wildlife in 4K, but here's a selection of uh, a few stills that I rattled off in the garden. It is a decent little stills camera too, but uh, obviously not for serious stills photography, but I think it's going to be excellent for uh, filmmaking and shooting wildlife in uh, 4K. So here's a film I shot at Ibrook Reservoir. <laughs> 